I feel like the last well, remaining part of this July, there's something big approaching you. One could be a communication um, from your soulmate. Earlier was Ace of Swords when I was doing the pre-shuffle. So it could be a time where the two of you will um, kind of like clear the air out for some. And then for others, I just feel a big shift. Uh, they keep saying things are turning around. Um, it's something that you don't expect yet, but it's actually a good news. Okay, so we love. Okay, so let's see. Okay, now we know that Saturn is in retrograde already in your um, in your first house, so that can cause a lot of revisit. Okay, it's a sasa yoga. It is actually good. It's a mula tricona in Aquarius, but it does um, you know make you work twice, three times harder than actually typical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you thinking of messaging someone? I feel like you did. And that didn't go out as planned. Meaning you probably got... no. You got a response, but it's not what you like. Or, well, it's not really. Like they wanted something else from you. Um, I see here that there is a fire sign that you're probably very, very interested. For others, you have been... Okay, hear me out. There's some single people over here who's watching who has tried to make it work with someone from your past, Aquarian, and then now you realize, like, yeah, that's a waste of time. And then the Ace of Wands is here, which means something new, okay? Because this is new, manifesting someone new, okay? I made a specific bracelet one for reconciliation, which is this one, if you're trying to reconcile. I'll tag it there. And then it's the first time that I ever actually made specific for the single ready to mingle, which is the Ace of Wands. I chose a crystal super strong, okay, for manifesting someone new. Like I'm done with the dealing with the past L and I'm ready to embrace. I'll tag it also there. Super strong. It's, it's for the single who's ready, ready for, I just want new, okay? So it's down there. Mm. Okay. Two of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles, undecided, a lot of questions, a lot of uncertainty, crossroads, feeling divided. Um, this is your person. Uh, another four, which means about security. Okay. Some of you guys here are also is um, having issues with finances. Two of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles. You are working harder and harder every day with the Two of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles, which gives a big challenge. You know, it's like, okay, I'm busy. I'm doing this, saving money. Um, you're probably saving money also for uh, re um, reconciliation, for uh, moving, uprooting yourself, because that's the Ace of Wands, okay? Relationship can really be stagnant right now. Well, not in a way that like it's not moving. It's not. How do you explain this? It's like you're focused more on you, okay, than them. So there's no movement there because if if it's about you, you're raising your vibration, and it's up to this person right now to actually come through. Hmm. I don't know. Ten of Swords. So if you're a cross watcher. You're the two of pentacles, which means like you probably are here to reconcile with the Aquarian because the Aquarian has given up on you. Because mm. the Ten of Swords here shows that they have tried emotionally. The Aquarian has invested in this relationship and the Ten of Swords is like it didn't come through. Mm -hmm. This is being backstabbed also. You felt betrayed after all the efforts and energy that you have given, Aquarian. Uh, this is what you got. Well, it's not what you got it's what you gave up on uh, like you just don't find the the value of the person or the relationship anymore because they were not really putting the efforts and energy two of pentacles and the four of pentacles but look at that i did tell you something big hmm. bigger than you can think of it's a wheel of fortune this is the planet of uh, you know this is jupiter so a planet of expansion and growth and of course if i go to your chart i'm pretty sure aqua pisces aries taurus it's in your fourth house um something related to your comfort is about to change your home life which you, you know you're probably trying to manifest the move the relocation now if you're living in with someone it's a different story when i say it's different sorry it will you know if you're married uh, i feel like it can bring back the sweetness in the relationship mm -hmm. 
Um, something big. Um, the sun is in the fifth house, dating and romance. Yes, Venus already has moved in the sixth house for you. And we're just waiting for a sun because a sun during the Leo season for the Aquarian is going to be the best time for you to actually date. Uh, if there's any time that you're asking me, it's going to be the Leo season, sidereal Vedic astrology, because the seventh house Lord, which is the sun, is going to be in your seventh house. And normally, on a transit, it gives that energy, meaning you will meet someone that you probably will call a soulmate, because the sun is a soulmate, the natural atma. Uh, you are going to have what we call also a pitri dosh. If there's any remedy that you... Um, pitri dosh is when Saturn and Sun are together or opposite of each other. You have some karma um, through the past life from your ancestors. Uh, what I can advise for the Aquarian, if you are experiencing difficulties with manifesting, uh -huh, down there is called the raw and real. It's... Uh, Especially if you're feeling like you're attracting the evil eye, um, everything that you're manifesting is not coming through, okay? Like it's taking so hard and difficult, it's complicated. But I made it very, very easy so that everyone now can manifest, okay? Like you don't need to learn and study all the books because I do that for you and I give you now the best of the best remedy, okay? So it's down there, it's called raw and real, okay? So with the Wheel of Fortune, it's... It's like if they haven't made a decision before, right? Um, things will come to surface, Two of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune. And when it comes to surface, look at this, how terrible, right? The breakup and separation. I don't think anybody looks forward to a breakup or separation because that's a Ten of Swords. That's basically like, ouch, like the pain and the suffering. But out of all the pain and the suffering, what is, uh, you know, what is down must come up and what is up must level off. If you're tired that your crystals are not working the way that you want to, I'm Sal, I'm a crystal expert, and I made this Zodiac Piao crystal bracelet specific for your sign. Visit my website, eatreadlove.me. Get yours today. So, Wheel of Fortune, how can you turn things around? Which is, I feel like you are already. Money-wise, I feel like it's going to become stable. Uh-huh. Six of Pentacles, so... The person who used to not talk and express themselves to you, Six of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles, they will reach out, but it's still not enough. Their energies and effort are only a tit for tat, meaning um, it's kind of like a, you would have to settle if you want to be happy with it. It's just like, this is what I can give, you know, but I'm giving. This is what their argument is. Uh, you do have options and choices, six of ones, meaning when I say that, it's just like you can go out, you can meet people. I mean, it's here. Yeah, I know with the six of wands, but you choose basically this person right now. So, okay. Um, they're very much interested. Page of wands right here, but are they going to settle? Are they going to commit? Are they, you know, like, I don't know the intention that you're manifesting, but um, let me explain. Um, when I make and I teach and I give the remedies here, I take it to heart, okay? So when you go to my site, it's called the Mystic Custom Bracelet. Um Put the intention, put the situation, what you're manifesting, and the date of your birth. I find it more effective when it is custom for you. Okay, I make hundreds of this. If um, I would call this, if um, if you if you're wondering where it is, it's down there. We do ship international also to you know we ship through DHL more than 80 countries. And if you go to my site right now, you will get your. This one, of course, your double piao. This is your double piao. It's free to remove obstacles, right? This um, um, this is our bestseller, Obsidian and Sachin with a double piao. You can see all the reviews out there, and it's free, okay? You get also your free cleansing tool, okay? Because you got to cleanse, okay? I always teach people, uh, you know, it's, it's, think of it like I'm a dentist. Give you a free toothbrush or something like that because this is how it's supposed to be done, not just giving the reading without giving the tools. What's the use of you going to a doctor without the medicine? So you just, the doctor just said, said oh, this is what's going on in your life. Goodbye. No, I don't leave you hanging there. You got to cleanse. Okay, so you go home, you get this, you get that free, but, you know, you can get it, um, you know, um, when, uh, when you get any of my gemstone bracelet right there. Okay? So, because ask yourself, why do you always connect with the reading? It doesn't manifest. Plain and simple. The reading was incomplete. It wasn't given, the tools was not given to you. You'll be thinking about it months and months after. Nothing happened. Mm. Six of Wands or the Page of Wands, your person talks to you. Hermit right here. Knight of Wands. Uh, well, there's some development. I feel like you, even though they try, because the Page, the Knight, the Queen, you know, they're trying. 
you feel like there's something lacking. You know, you're doing some, you know, like you're praying, you're manifesting. That's what the hermit does. And you are being asked right now, what do you want? Because this, the divine, basically, high priestess is in your favor. But I feel what you want is this person. And there's nothing wrong. You want this person, manifest that person. You know, not at all. There's nothing wrong. But I feel, stag you know, energy is stagnant. If you talk to this person, Knight of Swords, Page of Pentacles, and you're saying, it's like, okay, you know what? With the full card right here, it's like, it is what it is. You guys will have an argument because it's not it is what it is. You want commitment deep inside you. And here's the thing. The retrograde of Saturn is a perfect time for us to resolve any, okay, any issues with regards to unfinished business. That's why when I made the reconciliation bracelet, this one, or the single bracelet for people who's trying to manifest someone new down there, because these are the ongoing issues that you have. What I want to ask for you, from you, is like, when are you going to start? Because Saturn is only five months in retrograde. So we don't want to miss this opportunity. So everything is down there. Help yourself. Um, I'll see you guys again tomorrow.